Hello Nancy, it's uh, currently 8.24 p.m. and uh, it's uh, Wednesday, October 2nd. So we had our first class uh, in a while <clears throat> and I'm grateful that you're coming back because I really appreciate you. And I think you have a, a very good understanding of a lot of things in the world especially concerning what we talked about today. So it's very interesting to read the mainstream media or to watch the mainstream programs talking about what's going on in Hong Kong, what has been going on in Hong Kong for the past few months. And we see a bunch of journalists not really explaining the full story. So while you were, you know, telling me the truth, you know, I was trying to to check, um, you know, on the on the internet what I could find, and it's true that it's very hard to have access to the truth to have access to. Uh, you know, an ugly truth, which which is an ugly truth, you know. And the more I think about America, the more I realize that it's not a free country, not free to to tell the truth. I think many people are uncomfortable with the truth. And as I said earlier, you know, it's a freedom of lying, of telling lies. You know, you can tell lies, but as long as you are not telling the truth, we have these different platforms like Facebook, Twitter, um, Instagram, etc., etc., that are, you know, backing up the agenda of America. Because we talked about the fact that uh, the CIA can be. Uh, can be part of this, you know, can take advantage of this opportunity uh, because many criminals uh, don't want to be, uh, you know, as there is this kind of uh, extradition, extradited, you know, they don't want to be kicked out of Hong Kong because they know they're going to face a court, a Chinese court of law. So but let's see what kind of vocabulary they use here. 2019 Hong Kong protests also known as the, as the Anti-Extradition Law Amendment Bill, ELAB movement, or an ongoing series of demonstrations in Hong Kong, which began with the aim, the goal, to oppose the introduction of the Fugitive Offenders Amendment, Amendment Bill proposed by the Hong Kong government. If enacted, that 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 means of, uh, in fact, uh, if it's like uh, officialized, accepted, the bill will allow local authorities to detain and extradite criminal fugitives who are wanted in territories uh, with which Hong Kong does not currently have extradition agreements, including Taiwan and mainland China. People were concerned that the bill would subject Hong Kong residents and visitors to the mainland Chinese juris jurisdiction, undermining the autonomy of the region and its civil liberties. That's that's the point because while well, mainland of China uh, has a lot of uh, you know a long history of not respecting human rights, so now we don't know the real truth. We don't know who is more evil because there are many countries behind that who are backing up this kind of, or feeding this kind of uh, um, riots, protests, and demonstrations. But we don't know. I mean, this is quite, this is quite horrible to see that uh, criminals will not face a court of law, will not be put in jail because Hong Kong is protecting them.
Now, who is behind that? Okay. So, as the protest progressed, the protesters laid out five key demands, which include investigation into the alleged police misconduct and resumption of democratic reforms, which have stagnated since the 2014 Umbrella Revolution. The Chinese central government has described the protest as the worst crisis in Hong Kong since the handover in 1997. It's ongoing, meaning that it's still happening. Okay, so this is just like uh, this kind of um, explanation you're going to find everywhere. Okay, they don't expose any truth, they just explain a lot of stuff. But I like the fact that uh, Jerry Coase, here we go, the fugitive offenders and mutual legal assistance in criminal matters legislation, amendment bill 2019, was first proposed, la 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 la. Okay, in response to the 2018 murder of Poon Hui Wing by a boyfriend, Chang Tong Kai, in Taiwan, where the two Hong Kong residents were visiting as tourists as there is no extradition treaty with Taiwan because the government of China does not recognize its sovereignty. The Hong Kong government proposed an amendment to the Fugitive Offenders Ordinance, Ordinance and Mutual Legal Assistance in Criminal Matters Ordinance okay, to establish a mechanism for case-by-case -case transfers of fugitives on the order of Chief Executive, or Chief Executive sorry, to any jurisdictions that means, you know, they should, I mean, I would say, you know, there is a difference between a criminal, somebody who killed someone, and a political refugee. That means somebody who has ideas, has different ideas or dangerous ideas or, you know, cannot, I mean, there is like a, <coughs> a problem with the freedom of expression. So... What does that mean? It's just like we, we probably we should make a difference. You know, we we cannot have mainland China, you know, take advantage of the situation and you know and kill uh, whoever has you know uh, ideas or uh, the opposite of the of a mainland China. You know, you cannot be killed for ideas, but you can. You know, you can have a, a judgment for killing somebody. That is quite normal. It's fair. Okay. So, this is a big explanation, but... Let's see if I can go back here. So, before they were kicking me out, you know, they were kicking me out, kicking me out when I was clicking on the link. Now they don't do that anymore. BBC, this is like the establishment... I wouldn't, you know, expect anything uh, controversial. But the last one, yeah, the last one is interesting. I don't know who made this website, and it's not really possible and easy to find the creators of this website. But the news lens, how much will it cost for the CIA to create the Hong Kong protest? I have to take to to take some precautions here. I will send you this video, but privately, please, because, uh, you know, as we said, you know, the, the walls have ears, so you never know who's watching, who's reading, who's listening. Anyway, so, Paul Wang is a journalist and freelance writer who covers, covers East Asia and China including foreign affairs, politics, and national security. He comes from the beautiful city of Kaohsiung in Taiwan. So, the anti-extradition movement, extradit, extradition, okay, third month, no end in sight, millions of protesters, took to the streets to assert their demand for freedom and democracy and opposition to Beijing's authoritarian incursion. Okay. Liberate Hong Kong. Okay. So, so far, the Chinese Communist Party CCP leadership, together with its propaganda outlets, pro-Beijing forces in Hong Kong and elsewhere, 
have directly and repeatedly accused U.S. Central Intelligence Agency, CIA, of masterminding and financing the whole movement. There we go. That's it. Pro Beijing media in Hong Kong even published photos highlighting Western faces in the crowds, supposedly proving that CIA, CIA agents were the commanders leading the protesters, which often created hilarious results as foreign journalists and random expat workers in the photos rushed to brag on social media about how they became CIA agent overnight. So there is like a uh, you know to be discreet to dis discredit somebody who's telling the truth you make fun of it. This is what they did. So they're either they're gonna make fun of what you're saying, they're gonna think it's too big. Oh come on the CIA is behind this stuff. How come? It's not possible. So people can 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 be really fast at criticizing this kind of uh, facts. Um you know as you said the 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 people who are the most interested in uh, you know the the separation of mainland china and hong kong well, as independence uh would be the criminals and who's behind them you know so me crying you can just say everyone is cia <coughs> they're saying you are pointing and discussing tactics now to be fair to be fair we literally we literally were at that point. No, 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 no. over there. So they are making fun of. So how much US taxpayers' money will it cost for the CIA to create his massive spectacle show in Hong Kong? Since we assume the protesters were paid by the CIA, our first task is to figure out how many protesters there were. So they have an estimation, and this is like a total, I think it's a bit, a lot, but a total headcount of 7,564,441 since the beginning. Not that this number counts each occurrences rather than the total number of protesters, so many people come back and you know, it's not necessarily a real number, okay? So they say, you know, per person, they can give you this amount of money and la la la. I do not have an exact answer. CIS surely wouldn't tell me, nor would Chinese government for that matter, but an unscientific survey of all the fake news and conspiracy pieces across pro Beijing media outlets suggests that an average Hong Konger would be paid 3,000, like 400 US dollars to participate in each protest. That's a lot of money for just participating. So that's what they say. So if you take this number, you multiply it by 3,000, it's a lot of money. But you know, it's a deep, tiny bit exaggerated. I would say, you know, they have a good approach, but it's a bit over the top. Okay. So anyway, that's the best article I found so far. Not perfect, but the best. Okay. And nobody, so there is just one comment. I mean, it was a guy. Nobody's saying that they created the will for democracy in those kids, sir, that all those people are paid. What we are talking about is is making some mistakes. Investigating it, there are one thousands of group on earth that would be ready to go for their cause any day. It doesn't really make too much sense, but you know. I would say, you know, it's uh, it's quite interesting to have this kind of approach and to be shared online. You just have to look for this website in order to find, uh, you know, this kind of information. Many people will go for the BBC, you know, the CNN, uh, the major mainstream media, because they think they are reliable, but they are not. Enough with this stuff. I'll send you this video in addition to sending you uh, some audio files. You take care. Have a good night. Good evening. Uh, let's see if I can see you on Friday or next week. Take care, Nancy, and talk to you soon.